What's up, guys? This is Phone Finds, episode 62, and I've got quite a bit of stuff to show today, which is quite cool. We got some history, we got some dumb phones, as per usual, my first trade ever, pretty epic, and something insane. I'm not going to give that away. I won't even put it in the description until like a week after this video is out. Maybe two weeks, I don't know. But let's start with the worst find. This isn't even a phone. This, oh no, heads up to that. This is a miniature Stretch Armstrong. I found this on the floor of Target and decided I'm keeping this. So it is mine now. But yes, I found a miniature Stretch Armstrong. He, he does stretch, I mean, one-handed, but you can't really demonstrate. I can squeeze him, I can pull his leg all that stuff he does he's a he's a stretch armstrong he does stretch armstrong things so yeah that's all i have to say about him he he's included of course now actually let me explain this phone this and another phone this is some kind of nokia flip phone of some sort i already forget the model number if it's like two something i i don't know i'll put it in the description it just throws me off because normally dumb phones the camera was where you flip up but that's wrong that's opposite it's on T-Mobile, as you can see. You flip it up like that. I can't put this as the worst phone find because it's in all right condition, I guess, but I can't charge it. It takes, I don't know where it is, but like it takes a really tiny charger. Yeah, right, right there, I think. Really tiny charger that I don't have. I'll buy it eventually. But yeah, cool Nokia flip phone. Kind of forgot they made those, but yeah, it's on T-Mobile, so if I really wanted to, I could use it. I actually did not get this from Target or any kind of bin. I was in Erie, PA for some time, and for the record, I did go to the Target there. I found nothing. The only electronic in there was a watch, and it was not an Apple watch. It was some, like, Timex watch. I didn't need it. It wasn't even a smart watch. It was just a regular watch. So there was this thrift store that was selling a couple, like, a bunch of dumb phones, like, for real cheap. Got this and another one. It was only five bucks, so easy phones, easy deal. It's all nice and good put that back now this this is a Pantech breeze 3 I think as you can see it obviously works it's got the date and time right and I did not get this from Target I got this from an AT&T bin which for the record I it's hard to go to these right now because they clearly don't want people in just browsing I only went to be was able to go to an AT&T bin because I legitimately had some questions so I talked to the guy then I was like, alright, I'm just going to check out the Note 20 real quick. Then I dug in the bin and got this and some other thing, which not revealing. It's good, though. But yes, I have this. It's um, Pantech Breeze 3, as I said. It's For a dumb phone, it has it tries its hardest to look kind of modern. Pantech phones like um, haven't existed for a while, but this phone was clearly recently thrown in there because, you see, it fades out like a dang Android. Back. Yes. These shortcut buttons. One does tip calculator, two does calculator, and the three you can choose. This is clearly an old person phone because pill reminder, yes, dementia 100. But <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty neat. And um, like I was saying, it's clearly been thrown in recently because the newest text on here is from August 26th. It was something about saying like, Joe Biden will destroy the country or whatever. It was some bot message and I can screw off for all I care. But yes. It is a dumb phone, and it does dumb phone things, like I always say. It's kind of dirty. You can't really see because the lighting's not too great, but you could use a clean. I cleaned it to the best of my ability, but, like, the speakers are still, still dusty and stuff. Okay, here's another eerie find. This is the very loved Motorola Razr V3. It is actually not just a regular V3. It's technically called the V3R. I forget the difference. I think it, literally the only difference is, like, uh, I, I don't even remember, but, like, it might have been the music player or something. Something, yeah. I think it was like the music player is different than most other razors, but that's literally it. It is. Oh my goodness, that shining effect looks awesome on the camera. Yeah. Classic razor. It's a little dirty, as you can see, like around that part. Cleaned it to the best of my ability, and like here, there's some dirt in the crevices. This is Leica Mobile, but that's wrong. I mean, it has a Leica Mobile SIM in it, but this is actually on T-Mobile. I thought this was unlocked because no back, which. By the way, this is the wrong battery. This battery actually goes to this phone, which is the Ra the Razer V3 XX or XX, which is very shiny, cool phone. My brother bought it, but I'm allowed to show it off because I'm the one with the phone collection. Yeah, as you can see, it's on T-Mobile. It's a T-Mobile phone. And fun fact, the V3 XX is actually a little taller than the regular V3. Wow. 
But yes, Razer V3R, or V3 basically. It's a little glitchy as you can see and you go to the bottom of the screen, it's all messed up and weird. But it's a dumb, as I always say, it is a dumb phone that does dumb phone things. Something tells me it has games on it. Java, ooh. Yep, we got games. What's P-Man? Heh, <laughs> P-Man. It's probably just, it's gonna be Pac-Man, isn't it? Wow, P-Man. Oh my goodness, it's like the Game Boy Advance Pac-Man. Like, really tiny. But yes, it's Pac-Man, and it does Pac-Man things. Oh, I really gotta stop saying that. But, yeah, dumb phone, and it's cool to finally have a V3. Like, I've wanted these. Stop. Exit. I've wanted one of these for a long time now. People seem to find these a lot in the bins, but I never found one. And, like, this didn't even come from a bin. But yes, it's great to finally have one, even though it's not even in the best shape. I'll get a proper battery for it eventually. Alright, time for a history lesson. This I found from Target. It was the same Target that had the AT&T I went to and got the Palm, the freaking Palm, Pantech phone. This is a Palm Pre. It is on, as you can see, Palm. It's in decent shape. It's a little dirty, but it was fine. And very nice, very nice screen. It's, I'd say it's an overall decent condition. It's on Sprint, as the back says. Sprint. And it's a mirror. Fine. But yes, it is not a dumb phone, so it does not do dumb phone things. It does smartphone things. So, let's show an example. There's some things installed on here. Because it's basically, like, WebOS is basically like Linux almost. I don't know how it works. My brother was messing with this a ton. Like, we got Doom, we got Quake, and stuff. Dr. Battery actually tells you the battery health. And it's at 97%, which is really good for a phone this old from, the, from 2009, I think. Actual, oh, the health is actually better than I thought. Wow. Home button. Look at this. That's like the same app clearing as... Android 10 on my OnePlus 7T that I'm recording this with. This one was super ahead of its time. You got the keypad. It does... No, excuse me. It does your calling and texting and stuff, but... Thing is, if you have one of these, I used to think that if it was on the activation screen, you couldn't get past it because the activation servers are dead. That is a lie. With some homebrew and some hacky stuff, you can get past it, but like... I think most of the links are dead, so they have to go on the web archive. Something like that. I don't know the specifics, and I'm not going to... This is not a tutorial video, so I'm not going to help you with that. Look elsewhere. But yes, this is nice to have. I've actually been curious about the Palm phones for the longest time. But I never thought I'd find one, honestly, and I'm glad to have this. But yes, it's cool. Nice to have an early smartphone that isn't just an iPhone. Oh, notice it's actually at an angle, too. You can barely tell. Fun fact, this is actually the first phone to support wireless charging. Like, I'm serious. Let's actually, well, I'm gonna see Doom. Yep. Here's Doom. It's, it's, it works. It's true as heck. Okay. I always think that's like a trackball or something. Ah, whatever. Yep, it's, it's a palm. It's, oh, yeah, I, I did something. Wait, is it like a touchscreen? Oh my goodness. I've never tried this before. Listen how crisp that speaker is. Just listen to that. It's like a really nice tweeter, I swear. Okay, how do you move over? That's all I know how to do. I'll mess with that later. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to leave that. Alright, now to the cool stuff. That's I'm probably what most of you people are waiting for. So this I got from Murphy123, or as I know him, Brendan. This is a Samsung Galaxy S5 on AT&T, and it is in immaculate condition. Do you see this? That's dirt, which I'll take care of later. But yes, it is shiny. It is super nice. We've got the battery, not battery, the charger flap on it, which is, I guess, rare. But yes, it works perfectly fine. I was actually able to get this unlocked, no issue, so I could use this as an actual phone if I wanted. And I've wanted the S5 for the longest time. It's like a phone I've just been wanting for... A while. I don't even know why. I, j I just did. But I finally have one. It's great to have one. It's still a fast phone. I actually don't know if you can do um, custom ROMs on the AT&T one, but if you can, I'm going to absolutely go for it. I would love to see this thing run like Android 10 or something. Because if the Note 3 is still usable, or if that, the Note 3 was still usable in 2019 with custom ROMs, I'm sure this is still usable in 2020 with custom ROMs. Very cool. Very epic. I love it. Galaxy S5. I'll take great care of this phone. Thank you, Murphy123. Got another phone he gave me. 
This is, a, I'm sure you recognize these ones if you watch these videos. This is a Samsung Galaxy S6. Now, this one is weird. He said, I remember that the, the battery, like it wouldn't hold a charge and that the battery was probably broken. So I was like, okay, perfect. I have a S6 of my own. I got this ages ago. It was one of my first finds, like when I think from like November 2018. This Galaxy S6 with like a totally busted screen because it's terribly water damaged, but everything else on the phone works like fine. Took the battery from it, put it in this phone, and also gracefully take, taped the back together. See, it says charge 98%. You can turn it on. Yes, it'll turn on and act like it's fine. I'll pause the video till it's turned on. Here we go. Okay, it's all started up. I, oh, I also must mention that it's also a Verizon phone just like mine, so it's basically like mine if it worked. As you can see, it's also in immaculate condition. Like, it's so clean. So nice. And, and, and it's, it's such a tease, because like, yes, finally, working S6. Nice and 60 FPS too. Okay, I don't know what happened, but this... The, okay, here's, here's the issue. Here's the issue. You unplug, and keep in mind, the battery was replaced. Sorry about that. Okay, I can't unplug it. I can't... Okay, hold on. Okay, I have my guest, and... I'm a guest here. The phone is on, and... Check this out. It just immediately shuts off. And keep in mind, I replaced the... Oh, I didn't replace the battery, but... The battery was replaced with a known working one. So the board is probably messed up on this phone. It sucks. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Because this has a working board. Trade the boards. Everything is fixed. We're good. Alright. Well, that's it for the trade. But let me show the best five. Which, don't laugh at the condition. But... Bezel. Lacking. I turn the phone around. You see that? Yes, this is a Galaxy S9 Plus. I found this expectedly in the AT&T bin at the one I found the Pantech phone at. And, oh, it's in bad shape. It's in really bad shape. But in the screen... Oh, oh no, don't tell me the phone died. Oh, no. Well... The screen is very inconsistent, but it basically doesn't work. Like, the screen is, like, totally destroyed. This phone is actually... Oh, we got a low... Oh, my... oh it just shut off, but... We got a little green line for a little bit, but yes. Actually, as you can see, the phone is bent. Like, it is legitimately bent. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, you can definitely see it. The phone's bent. But, crazy enough, I was able to get the IMEI on it, which is on the back, which you can hardly read. Yeah, see, this is how much of the screen works. That's it. Like, that's all the screen work. And the digitizer's broken, too, because if you touch stuff, nothing happens. The cameras do work, though, because if you do this... Well, normally, if the phone was doing what it's supposed to, normally the cameras would show, but, like, I'm just in awe. The fingerprint scanner, I it's really finicky. I'm surprised it even works at all. It's super worn out. But, as I was saying with the IMEI, I was actually able to get this phone unlocked. Like, it is unlocked and ready to work on other carriers, so I might actually fix this. I might actually restore this phone. And so it'll be nice and cool and, you know, just cool. Sorry about that minor interruption, not as bad as the one time, but whatever. So yes, I might actually fix this phone. I would love to see it working and especially considering the fact I may be able to actually use this. But yes, I'm super happy with this phone despite the fact it's in terrible condition. But I allow me to just, no, actually no, I'm not going to say that because that would make people mad. But I, I really had to, I was really pushing my luck with this, because I remember in the bin, I saw an iPhone 6. I did not even see this at all. I was like, ooh, iPhone 6, gimme. And so I tried reaching, I was like, poop, I grabbed a dumb phone. Then I was like, oh, what's this? Oh, it feels fancy. Then I saw the, immediately saw the back camera. I was like, all right, I'm out of here. I'm gone, because I didn't want them being like, hey, you can't do that with an S, S9 Plus. Like, come on now. I'm not taking that chance, but yes, this is, oh. This is what I found, and I think it's pretty nice, especially the Stretch Armstrong, ha, joke. But yes, I'm really happy about the S, uh, S9 Plus, and very happy about the trade too. That went smoothly for the most part. I mean, if one, one phone, this one's still messed up, and something I gave to him unfortunately got messed up too. I wonder if he'll make a video on it. But yeah, 
I'm not going to reveal that. That's up to him. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.